I'm joined by the one and only David Icke. Now, David, you have been making many predictions about World War III, and a lot of things you've been saying throughout the years have slowly been coming together. Uh, right now, with the situation in ISIS, how do you break it down? What's your understanding of it? Well, <laughs> world wars change worlds. And if you have a global agenda, then global problems allow you to offer global solutions. And if you look how the world was transformed by the First World War and the Second World War, the world was a completely different place after both of those wars. And the idea all along has been to have a Third World War to complete the transformation into a global state with a world government and a world army um, dictating to the global population. And there was a, a letter, a controversial letter, because uh, people uh, d dismiss it. But with the passage of events, it becomes more and more credible. And it was a letter written by a man called Albert Pike, who was a massive, massive Freemason in um, the United States in the 19th century. And it was to uh, uh, another Illuminati infamous character called Mazzini, Giuseppe Mazzini. And it detailed three world wars that would transform global society. And uh, the first one described it in the terms that happened. Uh, the second one it described in terms that, that it happened. But, uh, you know, you can say, well, it came to light later. So, you know, maybe they just put that in and fake the accuracy of the first two wars. So the, the credibility of what it said lies in what it said about the Third World War. And it talked about creating a conflict between the Muslim world and what it called political Zionism. And people will say, well, that's got to be a fake because there was no Zionism when that letter was supposed to be written. Well, this is an agenda that's projected a long way forward. This is why uh, Aldous Huxley, Brave New World, and um, Eric Blair, George Orwell, um, 1984, who knew each other. Huxley uh, taught um, George Orwell uh, French at Eton College, where the royals go, and they knew each other and, and they became friends. And from the same sources, not least the Fabian Society in Britain, they uh, understood the projected agenda. And we're talking there in uh, 1932 that Huxley's book was published, 1948 that uh, Orwell's book was published, and, and, and they are um, describing the society that's unfolding today at that time. And there are many, many other examples of people predicting the future who were insiders who, who turn, have turned out to be incredibly accurate. Um, so the idea that um, Albert Pike would know that this Zionist movement was coming and the, 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 the establishment of Israel was coming um, is very credible when you look at the, the, the background evidence. And of course, Zionism was established not that long after this letter was supposed to be written. And so he was talking about the Muslim world being brought into a war with the um, political Zionism, what today we call Israel, and that this would, you know, in my terms, create a vortex that would draw in the world, um, in, in, in our terms, America, the European Union, NATO, uh, into, uh, into this war. And what you uh, have um, now is a situation that this ISIS group has come out of nowhere, in effect, incredibly well armed, um, incredibly funded. I mean, I've seen figures like $2 billion at its disposal. And it's walking into, into towns um, in, 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 um, in Iraq and taking them over. It's established itself at the key border crossings into Syria and into uh, Jordan. And it's all happened really fast. And what um, the potential of this uh, clearly is, is to do what um, Pike was talking about. Because I've said in my books for years that the plan was to create a massive divide and rule conflict between the Shia Muslims and the Sunni Muslims. I mean, I, I know it's hard to believe for anyone frickin' sane, 
But it, it, this argument over uh, this ancient argument over who, who should, you know, be the natural successor to the rightful successor to Muhammad and all that stuff has created this this enormous schism. Which, and schisms are there to be manipulated and uh, and uh, exploited by these people. So what you have, therefore, is this ISIS that suddenly appeared with its grotesque violence that is representing Sunni Muslims. And then you have the uh, regime currently in Iraq that is representing, in effect, Shia Muslims. And you have, just across the border, um, 